Abigail Cecile. I'm going to show you how to paint a portrait of your pet onto a needlepoint canvas. So I have my small test run of my pet portrait to the side. I have my traced pet portrait. I have several different colors of paint, 18 count mono canvas, artist tape, blotting rag or paper towel, and several different sizes of paintbrush. So I've cut around my pet portrait just so that it's easier to tape down, which I'm doing right now. Tape it down with just a couple pieces of artist tape. Now, Needlepoint Canvas does have a grain. Take a look at the small piece that I am holding. That is the salvage to the left of the canvas, and you want the salvage to be on either the right or the left of your design. You do not want it to go on the top or the bottom. And sometimes we cut that off, as you can see in the piece I'm using. You just have to make sure you remember where that salvage is and that it's going to the right or the left. Now we're going to tape down our canvas. We are going to center it over the top of our pet portrait, making sure the portrait is in the center of the canvas. Um, we're also going to want to make sure that the grain of the canvas, the horizontal and vertical threads of the canvas, are horizontal and vertically aligned over our design. You can do this by making sure that a vertical thread or strand of the canvas is going to run from the top to the bottom of your pet portrait. It doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but we just want to make sure that it's not skewed. Grab a few big pieces of your artist tape and just tape it right down. Before we start painting, we need to talk about the needlepoint canvas. This is an illustration of the needlepoint canvas with horizontal and vertical threads crossing over each other. The part of the needlepoint canvas that is important while painting is the intersection. The intersection you can see within the circle there, it's where the horizontal and the vertical thread cross over each other. Every single intersection on a needlepoint canvas is going to have a designated color, which means that you, as a painter, will have to purposefully paint each intersection its own color. So the benefit to painting this way is that when you go to stitch the canvas, you've taken all the guesswork out of the stitching process and you'll know exactly which color to stitch where. This is called stitch painting. You can just freeform paint the canvas, simply painting the canvas without any regard for the intersections. So the downside is that inevitably you will split some intersections down the middle and into multiple colors. So when you go to stitch those intersections, you'll have to decide which color to stitch over that intersection. We're ready to start painting and I'm going to be using a smaller detailed brush. And I'm gonna start with the eye area and I'm just going to be painting following the intersections of the canvas and the design underneath. Now I'm going to take a larger brush and I'm going to fill in the inside of the eye with paint. If you mess up or want to adjust the shape of whatever you're painting, just grab some white paint and cover up the intersections you want to change. Okay, let's start painting the light areas of our dog here and this time because the area that I'm painting is so skinny I'm just going to fill in the whole thing with my small detail brush I'm not even going to bother with the broad brush just going to repeat this process of outlining different sections of the dog's face and filling it in with our broad brush. Sometimes when you're painting a large area you'll get paint clogging the holes of the canvas. If this happens just use your brush and force the bristles through the holes of the canvas just forcing that paint through to the back side of the canvas.
let's put in our black details and because black is so dark obviously it's our darkest color um, it can go straight over the top of whatever we painted underneath um, this isn't usually true typically a color will show through another color if we paint it on top which is why we put white paint down first but because black is so dark that is not an issue here adjustments let him dry completely and then peel off the tape and you are ready to start stitching <laughs> 